and are you refreshed good now what now what now what thank you since the mid 80s i've been um transitioning from the conservative christian upbringing that i had when i was younger and uh, you know it's evolved and you you get different information and you know it's like i had heard of you and jerry and all of that back then but and i even had the book um, asking it is given and somehow i didn't really pick up a lot of that information or it didn't resonate with me at, at that time and over the years you go through different you know transitions and whatever and it was just this last summer that I ran into some of your uh, videos on YouTube and it was like oh I remember her you know and them from years ago the question I have is like the first question that you had when you went to uh, somebody is how do I get more connected to my spirit guide well first acknowledging that there is such a thing is important and we explained that really well here today do you think you heard it that there is that part of you who does exist who is aware of you and who is offering a vibration that you can feel resonance with yeah so first knowing that there is something there and then reaching for the feeling of it it's really an emotion that will guide you there in other words doubt keeps you from it a belief puts you closer to it because I've been uh, doing meditation and I've been getting you know more kind of centered and balanced and I and I find that I feel cooling in my you know forehead and stuff as I'm yeah. as, a, as I'm meditating and I try to clear my mind and not try to force what's coming um, and I'm just wondering is there a way to get more of a connection from whoever my spirit guide is or source to communicate to me or there's a distinction that we want to help you to understand there's a difference between having more connection and being able to translate the connection I have into the way that I think it means more you can find full resonance with your inner being when you are loving someone you could not be more fully connected but what happens to so many of you is that you want to make it more than you're ready to let it be you want full dialogue and complete answers to questions to come and what we want you to realize is that you are able to acknowledge or witness or receive whatever you're ready to receive so it's not that your inner being is not aware of you and it's not that your inner being is not projecting to you in a way that you could receive but you have to do some vibrational preparation in order to be ready to receive and then that reception evolves to the degree that you are ready and so it'll evolve it absolutely will but you get in the way when you try to make it more right now than you're ready for mm -hmm. all right I meditated I've been here for 20 minutes <laughs> give me the answers to the questions that I've been presenting to you but sometimes in fact often you receive an impulse this is such a good conversation to have not only because so many are wondering about it but because it gives us an opportunity to speak about the evolution of every desire you have put incrementally through the living of life your requests into your vortex about all things I want to feel good and I want to be of value and I want to be uplifted and I want to be an uplifter right down to all kinds of specific things I would like to live in this area and I would like to have these kinds of things to do in other words you have broad and specific intentions that you've been putting into your vortex and that creation has been evolving it has been becoming it is ready for you the question is what is your degree of readiness to receive it so when you watch Esther who is really in the receiving mode and who can receive our intentions our vibration really every nuance of it and translate it into something that is really tangible that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch and so forth so then you might think well I would like more of that direct communication of course that direct communication can come to you but it comes to the degree that you are ready for it and mostly this is the thing that we really want you to hear mostly this connection is about an impulse that will come to you it's like this for example let's say that you've asked a question about something to which you don't know the answer so just the fact that you know that you don't know the answer is in the way of you receiving the answer 
so if you ask that question too often you just keep the question so active and so alive that you're really a vibrational match to the question or the problem and you're not really letting in the solution well your inner being knows that all things come to you through the path of least resistance we can say that better through your path of least resistance through the path with the resistance that you've thrown all over your trail now your inner being has no resistance about your resistance your inner being isn't even bothered that you have resistance instead your inner being knows what you want and what the least resistant path to lead you to what you want is so your inner being doesn't offer you a series of statements that you're not ready to receive that gets you all confused and wondering what's going on instead your inner being offers you absolute knowing and to the degree of your readiness you translate it into something that is meaningful to you it might just be an impulse to do something now here's the thing this is where faith or trust from your religious world faith meaning you can't see it there's no evidence of it but there is a vibrational knowing of it or understanding of it that has yet to be realized by you it's being presented to you but it is yet to be realized by you because your realization of it has to do with your readiness for that and I've started to experience some of that just in the last four or five months, seeing that whole thing, of knowing things that could be possible and then seeing them actually manifest. So the way it experience. comes, though, it's more tangible than you might think. In other words, this looks to some of you maybe a little mysterious. Why is Esther talking about herself in third person? Who is Abraham really? What is all of this? But when you through meditation is really the best way happens through appreciation and love too but if you really want to have a tangible progressive evolution into your receptivity meditation is really by far the easiest and the fastest way so you've meditated and you've come into alignment and you don't get a stream of thoughts let's say instead you just feel like you'd really like to do something and it just sort of drops as an impulse or a desire or an intention into your consciousness and as soon as you come out of meditation you just really have a strong feeling that you would just like to take a walk maybe or like to go to a specific place something came into your mind and you really wanted to do it well if you don't spend any time trying to figure out well of course it was an idea about going to Starbucks I always want to go to Starbucks don't spend any time trying to figure it out just if you can follow the impulse and when you follow the impulse and something happens that is meaningful to you like you exchange a really nice smile with someone and you may think well that may have been enough don't try to figure out why you had the impulse to go there just follow the impulse to go there and let whatever follows follow so we've been saying to you in this format for quite a while that we understand the laws of the universe we know them so well we know where you are each of you in relationship to every single thing you want and we can see a clear path to it but even if you were to sit in this hot seat and we were to say it's important that you stop doing that and you start doing this you could not necessarily hear it because words do not teach and we don't want to assign you behavior we want you to receive the impulse from the broader part of you because we are not wanting to encourage your dependency upon this format of us being translated by Esther we want to introduce you to your own guidance system to something that is real for you so you hear these words and maybe you begin to feel resonance with the idea that you are more than this physical body and that there is something that you could be connected to and maybe you find resonance as we visit that your emotions let you know how well aligned or not you are to this broader knowing and maybe we can convince you a little bit through dialogue that clarity is a much better thing than confusion and happiness is a much better thing than sadness and love feels much better to you than hate we can get your juices flowing a little bit but words don't teach until you actually take the time to meditate and focus upon something not interesting like the sound in the room like the air conditioner or a dripping faucet or a stream that is flowing or something Esther downloaded an app that has every sound in the world she listens to central air
There are babbling brooks. They make her think about what's in the water. There are rain in the forest, rain on the tent, rain on the tin roof. There's all kinds of things that she could listen to. She chooses central air. She likes that consistent sound that she can just lose her mind into. Just focus right there. And before she knows it, she is thoughtless. And when she is thoughtless, her vibration rises. Now, once that happens to you and you're in that you're not thinking place so you couldn't possibly be introducing any resistance now you're in that open receptive mode and now it's likely that sometime during that often at the end of your 15 minutes that you have allowed yourself you'll receive an idea it will feel like an idea or an impulse and it is our encouragement that you just follow that out just see where it goes and then do it again the next day and the next day and what you will begin to notice is that your inner being has clear insight is offering you clear vibration you are receiving impression to the degree of your ability to translate it into specifics and it doesn't matter if you can only translate it generally it doesn't matter the specifics will show themselves to you and in time you will have absolute knowing that you've already done step one you've already asked your source has already done step two it's right there ready for you to receive and now you do the only thing that matters at this point you get into the receiving mode and you receive and you don't pass judgment on how well you received how important what you received was instead in an attitude of faith if something occurs to you you follow it out and as you follow it out then it's not long into this game of meditation and receiving and following it out that you are able to acknowledge the exact correlation between your open receptive mind and the thought that came to you and your ability to translate that vibration into more and more meaty satisfying thoughts just gets better and better and better mm -hmm. I had um, a wife who committed suicide. Is there a way of connecting with her in a, that would be different than other parts of source? In or time, that? but that would be the most difficult thing at first. It's been a while since she... It's all right, but we're happy that you introduced this into the conversation because it lets us say to you something that is so important. We love you so much. But why do you always start with the hardest things? I've got this really important thing and I'm going to meditate and I'm going to get the answer to this and we say instead just acknowledge that inner being exists and acknowledge that meditation is an easy way to it and quiet your mind and enjoy the quieted mind don't try to make something more happen just enjoy the quieted mind enjoy the resonance of alignment enjoy that feeling of nothingness which means that feeling of no resistance which means that feeling of no problems whatsoever which means that feeling of being at one with who you really are and then and then and then and before you know it you'll be romping down these thought ways where anything in any detail that is important to you you can receive and then there may be certain impulses that something that came to you might be more something that she would do or something that then then you have more realization well, you see, but that what's it, happening it's is coming from you're her. getting down the road too far and too fast on a specific subject we want to say let's have this conversation about hooking up and lots of things will come from that and eventually that too and then you say okay but when that comes will it be like this and we say well we just want to talk about hooking up and finding resonance and having all kinds of experiences that give you the confidence because you know what happens the first time that you receive and you have you say was that really you did I hear you right I better go check this with Abraham and get some confirmation about it and we say when you're ready you're ready and when you're ready you'll know you're ready and so don't try to be ready before you're ready and you know why you want to be ready before you're ready because you think there's some competition about readiness <laughs>